Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Windows 10 backup USB. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you create your backup on your USB drive? Well, creating one for Windows 10 is fairly easy. So, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to open up your PC and you want to go ahead and basically search for the following. So at the bottom left here, go ahead and click on search and just type in the following, it's going to be control panel. Now, once you see it in here, go ahead and click on it. Now, what we need to do next is we need to look for recovery. So to find it, you need to switch the view by option. Now at the top right, you want to go and click on the view by option here and you want to switch this to large icons. Now once in here, you want to look for recovery. So usually it's going to be at the rightmost section here and click on it. Now. From here, what we need to do next is we need to choose the option that says create a recovery drive. Go ahead and click on it. Now, if it asks further uh, like uh, further permissions, go ahead and click on yes to allow it. And from here, it's going to give you this recovery drive pop-up. Now, it's going to give you uh, up, uh, some information here. So even if your PC can start, you can use the recovery drive to reset to troubleshoot problems. Now, in this case, since we want to proceed, let's go ahead and click on next here. By the way, you could basically enable the option that says backup system files here to recovery drive and click on next. Now, it's going to start scanning for drives that you could use. So let's just wait for it to finish scanning. Now, in here, what we need to do next is we just need to select our USB drive. So in this case, go ahead and select your USB drive here and click on next. Now, from here, it will notify you that every file that you have on your USB stick will be deleted. So if you have any personal files, you might want to transfer them somewhere else or maybe upload it into your uh, online storage. But if you're really sure, you could go ahead and click on create here. And from here, it's going to start creating your recovery drive. So this might take a while. So in this case, you might need to wait like an hour in order for it to complete. But once the process is done, what you need to do next is you just need to eject the USB. So this is just in case not to corrupt the actual USB. Now at the bottom right of your screen, you want to click on the show hidden icons option here. And you want to go and click on the safely remove hardware from eject media. Now from here, you want to right click on it and you should be able to see your USB. So in this case, just click on eject USB disk on your USB. And once you've done that, that would actually eject your uh, USB. Now it is now safely to remove from your computer and you can just basically store this somewhere that is safe. Like for example, a safe or a somewhere that you could basically easy access, but still safe or secure. But once you're done, you just need to use your USB just in case something happens. So if something happens on your PC, you just need to plug it in on your PC in most cases. So that's in most cases, but in different PCs or in more or in other brands, you might need to adjust a few settings on your PC in order for it to use it. But generally speaking, you just need to plug it on your PC to start using your recovery drive. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.